Hi, uh, today I will explain the uh, bioreactor design project uh, with simulation on the Protus uh, software. Okay, uh, this is the technical specification for the project. What uh, what uh, what the function of the bioreactor exactly? What must it uh, to do? Here the technical specification of the reactor. The reactor will uh, count with the four sensors, temperature, humidity, oxygen, and CO2 and uh, nitrogen. Later will we add more sensors to take this into account. If the temperature goes below th uh, 13 degrees Celsius, the heating until will turn it on. When the temperature value is bigger than 33 degree Celsius, the heating unit will turn it off. The idea is to build a system capable of keeping the same temperature over long period of time. When the value of the oxygen goes below a fixed value, the pump will turn it on and will open the valve for 5 seconds to inject the specific amount of oxygen to the reactor. Then close the valve and make new measurement after 10 seconds. Same applies to the system for the other gases, nitrogen and spring water. The gases out valve will open for the 5 seconds when the valve of uh, CO2 will go above a fixed value. The value then must close and make another measurement after 10 seconds. Just, uh, just after the pure oxygen in, uh, is injected into the bioreactor, the vibration unit will be activated for a few seconds when the relative humidity goes below 100%. The system should spray some water, then activate the vibration unit for a few seconds. All the measurements uh, done must be stored in the database that will could re uh, retrieve in the CSV format. All measurements must be done every 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, now we start the simulation. Okay, here we have the main controller, it's uh, Arduino Uno R3. Here we simulate the sensor input by the potentiometer values. Here the CO2 sens sensors. Here the humidity sensor, oxygen sensor, and nitrogen sensor. Here we using the LM35 temperature sensor to simulate the temperature uh, temperature inside the bioreactor. Okay. By using this heater. This heater is a simulator, the heater jacket inside the bioreactor that work to uh, increase the temperature inside the bioreactor under certain condition. Okay, we have the four valves, four valves to control the entrance of the gases. One valve for the oxygen valve, nitrogen valve, and CO two or the uh, CO2 uh, uh, valve okay and we have the valve or the relay to control the heating of the jacket our heater jacket okay we have uh, LCD to display the uh, the values of the uh, gases measurement on the LCD also the action of turn it on and turn it off this heater we simulate the, the vibration unit by using DC motor as the fan. Okay. Now we start the simulation. Before we starting the simulation, we developing the C sharp application. This C sharp application used to interface and control and monitoring the our system. Okay. It consists of three cages three large cages with the two uh, small cages here this oxygen nitrogen and the temperature also this for the humidity and this for the co2 okay also we have the monitoring for the uh, the valves active or inactive when the valve is on or the or in the active state this will be changed this state will, will be will be changed with the red color 
to be active any of the four valve change its state will appear in the, our monitoring system okay here we have slide bar this slide bar using to select the time of the updating data reach to the our interface also you can select this interface receive the data in the serial format you can select the com port the serial com port that connected with your device okay also you have the option to start stop and exit okay now we will start okay now the LCD start to display the amount of the sensors measurement here the temperature is 32 the oxygen level is 230 okay also for the rest of the sensors okay this va values is the estimation values can be changed according to your design here in the left this at the virtual terminal which demonstrate or display the data format sent from the our system to the our interface okay to start to link the our C sharp to the our pi reactor by select the com port number two and start the data reading updated each 10 second now we can notice that we have the same measurement appear on the LCD in the our C sharp application with some actions here now our the sa save uh, oxygen level is uh, 250 the oxygen go below the oxygen value read by the sensor uh, go below the safety level so it's a change to the red color and the valve of the oxygen is on to inject more oxygen to the our pi reactor to consume con uh, 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 to uh, give uh, give us more oxygen okay now let us change here you are to change this oxygen value okay this oxygen value this sensor okay let us increase the oxygen value now you noted that okay oxygen value increased go to 200 yeah I think you say that and the data format is updated that send it to the our C sharp also the C sharp see the new value for the oxygen and now we in the save range of the oxygen and the valve of the oxygen is inactive this operation is the same for uh, for all valves we can try another one let us try another one let's see the nitrogen okay here the old value of the nitrogen where this value will be changed decrease it now it's decreased below the safe range so the C sharp will show the dangerous range and start to activate the valve activate the valve of the nitrogen to compensate the leakage in the nitrogen gas inside our pi reactor okay let us return this nitrogen to the safe range by increasing the amount of nitrogen okay here we go we return sorry we return to the the save level and the valve will be inactive and we get the new value for the nitrogen okay also for the humidity and 
the CO2 uh, but when the in the humidity according the, to the specification of the our bioreactor when the humidity is reached to 100% the vibration unit must be work and let us do that let us where the uh, humidity yes this humidity now you, you can notice that the humidity value is 16 years okay by increasing the humidity to move up with that now the value of the humidity is a change and the valve here the humidity valve is turned on okay so and the vibration unit start to work okay now let us return the humidity to the safe range okay now we in the safe range okay now let us test the temperature okay the safe uh, the safe range of the temperature between 30 and 32 let us go down below 30 we get some dangerous range here is a cold cold range so we need more heating so what happened the heater will be turned on to increase the temperature okay now heater will stop heating the bioreactor when the temperature reach to the acceptable range okay let us change this to 32 okay now the temperature range and uh, return to the normal value and the heater will return to stop heating will stop heating the yeah yes this heater okay now it's stop heating and we we exceed the upper level of the temperature so we must go down to 32 okay now we have the normal temperature range okay also for the co2 co2 must not exceed 250 so let us increase the CO2 value to exceed 250 what happened notice here this will be changed now and uh, we in the danger dangerous range so and the valve of the CO2 is turned on to release uh, the amount of CO2 outside the bioreactor okay now we try we return to the normal value go below 250 this is our system thank you